and welcome to another DriveScript tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can build in headers to your applications. Now, a header is essentially a layout, a um, horizontal layout which we put in uh, two buttons on the side and text box in the middle. So let's get started. I'll show you how to do it. So what I've done is created a bare bones application. In it I've got the main uh, layout which is to cover the whole um, screen and then we're going to create a layout for our header. Now this is a horizontal um, layout, it's a linear type layout and it's with left justification and it's going to fill the whole complete uh, x-axis. So we're adding it to our main layout, so it's going to stick to the top. And if we run this, it will have nothing on the screen, as I can show you now. If you run it, that's it, blank, blank screen. So let's add our first button to the um, header. So we're going to have a button, some text, and another button. So we want to add a button to the, the layout, give it some text. Now we're going to use the Font Awesome library for this one. And to the icon we're going to have is a power symbol. So it also um, can depict like signing off or leaving the app. And we're going to give it a width and we're going to say about 0.1 one and a height of 0 0.075 and this is where we put in the option for the icon library font awesome and we can do that for button. So if we press power play, now we see the button here and there. Now as you can see there is no looks of it, no icon. What it in fact is happening is um, the icon comes with some padding. So if I just do a width of 0.2, I'll show you what I mean. It should now appear. There you go, see. So we actually have it on there. We'll stick to the Point to two width actually. If you if you want to change that, we just you can just use the set padding, and that also always starts with the left. Um, so we could do left zero, top, right, bottom, and if you run that one, you should see. Uh, well, you actually see now because we put it point two, but. Point, uh, point one. There we are. See, then the icon appears. So we'll keep it at point two. We won't need the padding, and we're going to have um, the text in there. So we want the text, and we want it to be actually t text title, and we're going to have add, add text. And we're going to add it to the header. And it's just going to be uh, home, for example. And the width, now this is important because we've put um, point 0.2 here. We're going to have another button at the other end, which is another point 0.2, which would be equal to point 0.4. So now we need this to be point 0.6 because then we're using the available uh, width. It's all percentages, you see. And um, for the height, we could have it at actually 0.1. Let's see, it may um, look out of line, but we'll see. So let's play this one now. And we see that is there, and home is in the middle. Now, we would like it to be a bit larger, the text. So if we just use set text size. And we can put something like 24 
if you run that one then you get a bigger one there now you notice that is still a little bit high so what we could do with that is put some padding set padding and again that's left and right um, to five right bottom see what that turns out oh I might do way too far so put one zero one let's go to a different thing okay that looks that looks acceptable and now we need our button to the right so let's do another uh, add button and we're just going to go to the head and we're going to have bars which is also the what's um, known as hamburger and we're going to have the same width as the other button and the same height as well 75 and we need to call in our font awesome icon library and if we play that we have our header and if we want to add in some uh, other text to the rest of the screen we could do this show you so we add it to the main layout Hello. Um, and you could put one point nine example. That doesn't matter, but I will make this make this bigger size. Set text size, let's make it really nice and big. there we go so if you wanted to move that into the center of the screen what you could essentially or probably better to do is actually surround this uh, text into another container so then you break up the whole screen into um, layouts which you can use to control your um, your controls but also your, your layout better so we have a, a linear layout for the header and then you can create another layout for the body and just show you quickly so if we put layout body add layout to the lay have it linear have it v center for example fill x y then we need to just put set size otherwise it's going to fill the whole screen it's going to be um, more so what we can do is width we say it's one and then we know that the top layout was about 0.8 uh, 0.1 <coughs> of this height here so we could say that's 0 0.9 or even 0 0.8 if you want to leave room for a footer at the bottom so you could do that and then we just need to add the text this text to the body layout and if you press play there we should get there you are. so now we have a header and um, a container for the, the main content and we can even do one little thing more to the layout to make it stand out a little bit more we could set a back color for example three four six <laughs>
and there you go so you can actually see then the height of the thing so what we could do there is we change the height of the height of the thing and we know that's too far so let's do 0, 8 let's see oops 0, 8 press play and there we are we see it even more so then we have um, background color to the header so that is how a how you can quickly create a header for your app <laughs>